pass. If you gotta take a leak, just take the pass and go. Buttercup, I don't have to go. I'm just excited. Today's the day that Dr. Kensington PhD is coming to talk to us about the science fair. Who's on the what now? Dr. Rupert Kensington PhD. He's only the biggest scientist in the entire Western Hemisphere. And he's gonna guest teach our class. Maybe he can help us prove the existence of the ghost horse. You mean the one that haunts this very school? They say at night, you can hear him clip-clopping down the hallways. It's both scary and adorable. Please, that's ridiculous. Oh, here he comes! Good day, everyone. As some of you may already be aware, my name is Mr. Uh, uh, Dr. Uh... Dr. Rupert Kensington, PhD! Why, yes, that's me. Uh, and as you may also know, I'm very famous for science ing. Why, why, I single handedly created the, uh, uh, the, the, um. Oh! The transmutation ray! I've read all of your books on it. Boring. No! Don't you see? Using his transmutation ray, he infused carrot DNA into a grapefruit to create a carrot fruit! Still boring. Uh, as you know, I'll be teaching your class this week, and, uh. <gasps> Uh, I will be judging your science fair next week and... And, and awarding this uh, prestigious uh, blue ribbon to the student with the most impressive science fair project. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I hope to be impressed. I hear some minds here are rather sharp. He's talking about me. I know what project will blow everyone's minds. The ghost horse. Fact or very true fact? Uh, Bubbles? I agree, Blossom. This is literally the best idea I've ever heard! Ghost horse, ghost horse, ghost horse, ghost horse! Ghost horse. Uh, Blossom, may I have a word? As many as you like, sir. Uh, have you given any thought yet as to what you might do for your science fair project? Oh, yes. I've been compiling a list of multiple projects for months, such as a baking soda volcano. A bit simple, don't you think? You're right. Tornado tube? No. Ant farm derby? No. Paper mache brain? No. Cold fusion? No, thanks. I already ate. I was thinking of something more along the lines of this. A blueprint for a genuine transmutation ray. Yes. But perhaps it's time for an upgrade. Uh, something that will mutate not just plants, but animals, or even humans. Y you could make, for example, people sheep, <laughs> or, or sheep people, or uh, 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 what do you call them? Sheeple? That's the one! Well, that does sound like an amazing idea, sir. Wouldn't it be dangerous? Ah, true, uh, true. Yeah, but sometimes you have to do dangerous things for the good of society. That's how hang gliding was invented. Not to mention, a project like that would certainly be worthy of the Blue Ribbon Award. Huh? Yes, and the person who made it would even be worthy of being my assistant. Uh... Or, dare I say, my lab partner? Uh... But maybe you're not up to the challenge. Yes, I am! <laughs> Excuse me, Dr. Kensington. I have some groundbreaking work to break ground. 